Hello everybody, welcome back to the world of me. My name is Cougar and this is another episode from our camping and survival series. Uh, now we've got a new, a new one in today. Baseball cap. Uh, obviously a baseball cap doesn't seem like much of a, uh, a camping tool or a survival tool. And uh, generally I would kind of agree with you up to the point of at least a baseball cap can give you some shade and stuff like that when you're out. Uh, keep your eyes so they're not uh, getting uh, overly exposed to the sun as well as your face and everything like that. And of course it can keep you know the rain off, keep debris off you and things like that. But uh, this one is actually a rather special one and this one is definitely geared more towards kind of survivalist and even into the tactical kind of realm. And that's because this is a concealed carry uh, baseball cap. Uh, now, I, I know that sounds maybe kind of odd, but uh, bear with me on this one. Uh, first thing I'm gonna do is uh, take out some pieces that we've got here. And uh, as you can see, we have the simple little keeper there, but then we've got a couple little pieces that came with it. Um, first thing we've got is a brass handcuff key. Uh, now this is a uh, proper key. It has of course a little uh, pin at the back for uh, unlocking double lock handcuffs and it also has the hollow core at the front there uh, to get around that uh, pin that's in a set of handcuffs. Uh, something that could be good for you if you're uh, again in a survival situation. So maybe somebody's taken you and handcuffed you. Uh, if you happen to have something like this on you, you can uh, hopefully get away. The other one is this very thin, very small folding knife. Now this is a simple straight edge razor blade. So this is, this is just like the regular straight blades that uh, you might shave with. Uh, this is a bit longer than the standard ones are though. This one is almost two inches long. Uh, it does, of course, again, fold down into this uh, little sleeve here. And this little sleeve is just plastic. But, of course, something like this, always having some type of a knife that you can uh, cut cordage uh, or, or any kind of basic stuff. I mean, obviously, you're not going to be sitting there splitting wood with this. Uh, but you could get maybe some shavings with this. Like doing some light, some light work with this is definitely going to um, be what more of this is for. Uh, this is heavier duty than the razor blades that you would get for your shaving razor, but it's still not that thick. Uh, but at least it gives you something uh, in that aspect. So we've got those two things, and those are all fine and good, but you're probably wondering why did they come with a hat. Well, the hat itself, uh, now beyond the fact that it is just a simple black hat, which is kind of what you want because you want to kind of maybe give that, that gray man effect where you're uh, not being noticed. But uh, the other thing is um, you want to be able to conceal things. And in a hat, you may not think of it. Sure, you've got the little headband piece here and you can tuck a few things up in there maybe. But this one is actually set where the panels themselves have Velcro in them. And now you've got a pocket. And uh, you can see here on the inside there, there's where the uh, pocket is, just one of these triangles here. And there's my fingers on the inside of it. So now you can take this, drop in your little knife, drop in your key, let the Velcro come down and it's secured. Now, of course, you don't want to necessarily put those together so they rattle around, but this is big enough that you can take, you can put some money in here, you can put uh, things like credit cards uh, or, or any kind of thing like that. You can put, uh, you know, it, it's basically, uh, as you can see, it's the same size as one of these triangular panels and it does go all the way up to the top. So as if you have things that are flexible and soft that can kind of curve to the top of the hat, you can fill these things up uh, to some extent. Obviously, you don't want it bulging out, but there are, as I remember, I believe there were four panels total. This one, the ones towards the back are a little bit more narrow because they do have the opening for the back of the cap here. And this is Velcro rather than those uh, plastic 
ones that have the little snaps so this is basically infinitely adjustable and can fit pretty much anybody uh, and it's not uncomfortable it's the soft fabric so it's not going to cut into the back of your head uh, but so what you've got is the fact that you've got these four panels basically in the back here are all free uh, now the front two are left open they're made just like the regular panels on a baseball cap. Well, one thing I did notice is that the brim right here, the front of the brim because of the way they made it, it is a little thicker than a standard one. But it's only at the front. The rest of it is still just as flexible and everything as a regular baseball cap. And it's just made out of like a cotton type material or maybe a cotton poly blend. Uh, so it's, it's comfortable. It feels just like any kind of other baseball cap for the most part. Uh, and very easy wear, easily wearable, uh, but you can, again, conceal what you have in there. If you guys want to check this out, we did get this from, uh, I believe it was Survival Life. You can go down there in the description below. I'll have a link to, uh, to these. Also, when you're down there, don't forget to check out our social media, and don't forget to leave that thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, either down there below, in the corner there, and uh, also hit that bell. You ring that bell, it'll let you know when we've got new videos out. All right, everybody. Well, that'll do it for me today. My name's Cougar. This is The World of Me, another episode of the uh, Camping and Survival series. I would like to wish you all a good day, and I will see you later. Bye.